Hi judges! Welcome to another segment of Juan Arliwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. Last time, we were able to discuss the parabola and its equation in standard form with vertex at the origin. We also had a discussion regarding problems 1 and 2. For today, we will be discussing another problem from one of our YouTube subscribers. So, we will be discussing and solving the problems of a parabola involving only its directrix with vertex at the origin. So, let us first discuss the different theorems regarding parabola. We have theorem 1 and theorem 2. For theorem 1, if the focus is located at 0 and C and the vertex at the origin, therefore, the 1 is this, the x value is 0, therefore, that is being squared. It becomes x squared is equal to 4cy. And for theorem 2, we have the focus located at c and 0, therefore, y squared is equal to 4cx because y coordinate is 0 for the focus. So, we're now asked to find an equation of the parabola with vertex at the origin and directrix y is equal to 4. We are only given the directrix and the vertex and that the vertex is located at the origin. So, let us first draw the directrix. The directrix is located at y is equal to 4. We are given an equation of the line y is equal to 4. Therefore, this line is horizontal. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. This is now our directrix. y is equal to 4. This is our directrix. Okay. This is the vertex. This is our vertex. So, we could see that the axis of our parabola should be going up or going downward. But, the directrix is above the vertex. Therefore, our parabola should open downward. So, this is our parabola opening downward. Because this is the directrix, this is the vertex, and somewhere below the vertex is the focus. Okay. Since it is opening downward, we should be using this theorem that the F or the focus is located at 0 and C. Therefore, F now is located at 0 and the value of the C is the opposite of the value of the directrix. If this is Y is equal to 4, therefore F is located at 0 and negative 4. Therefore, C is equal to negative 4. By using this formula, x squared is equal to 4cy, substituting the value of c in the equation. Therefore, x squared is equal to 4 times negative 4 times y. And x squared now is equal to 4 times 4 is, what is 4 times 4? This becomes negative 16y. Okay, therefore, this is now the equation of the parabola. Since this is negative, it is opening downward. Always remember that if your parabola is negative, it either is open downward or it opens to the left. So what is now the length of the lattice rectum? What is now the length of the lattice rectum? The length of the lattice rectum now is 4 times the absolute value of C. And that becomes 4 times the absolute value of negative 4, and that is 4 times positive 4. That is 4 times 4, 4, 8, 12, 16. So that is 16 units. So let us now try to draw the lattice rectum. The focus is located at 0 and negative 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is our lattice rectum. The lattice rectum will pass through our parabola and the focus. So the length of the lattice rectum is 16 units. Okay, so for the second example or for our fourth example, the directrix now is located at x is equal to negative 3. From the first example, we could see that if the directrix given as y, it, either's, it either opens upward or downward. What if our directrix is equal to x is equal to negative 3? Therefore, it opens to the left or to the right. Let us first draw the directrix. It says here that the, that the directrix is x is equal to negative 3. 1, 2, 3. If this is x, therefore, our directrix should be vertical. This is now our directrix. And that x is equal to negative 3. Okay, this is our vertex. 
our vertex is located at 0 and 0. Since this is the vertex, this is the directrix, therefore, to the right of the vertex is the focus. So if this is now the given, we should have the vertex located at 0 and 0, and the focus should be, we have the value of x, therefore, we will be using this second theorem, c and 0. Therefore, the focus now is located at the opposite of c, at the opposite of x, which is negative 3, therefore, that becomes positive 3 and 0. So let us try to draw positive 3, 1, 2, 3, therefore, this is our focus. And our parabola now is opening to the right. Okay, this is our latus rectum. And we do not know yet the value of our latus rectum. Let us first write the equation of the parabola. Therefore, this is 0. That becomes y squared is equal to 4cx. y squared now is equal to 4 times what is the value of c? c now is equal to this one. And that is equal to 3. Therefore, that is 4 times 3 times x. Therefore, y squared is equal to 4 times 3. That becomes 12x. And this is now the equation of our parabola opening to the right. So what is the length of the lattice rectum? The length of the lattice rectum now is 4 times the absolute value of C. Therefore, 4 times the absolute value of C, which is 3. So this is 4 times 3. Therefore, the length of the lattice rectum is 12 units. So this is now the example. This is now the answer for our example. And do not forget that if the focus is located at 0 and C, it becomes x squared. If the focus is located at C and 0, it becomes y squared. And that the vertex is located at the origin. That's all for today. And I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something from this video. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and suggest questions that I may answer from our YouTube tutorials. And always remember that math is fun.